Greetings everyone, Napoleon Complex here, and welcome to my Gallic campaign, where I will be trying to beat the long campaign goals using only warbands, barbarian cavalry, and skirmisher warbands. Let's get into it. Before my grandfather's grandfather was born, this was our land. These are good places. Our gods live here, in the trees and rivers. They watch over us. We are happy. We hunt. We love. We have families, homes, a good life. But sometimes we must fight. The Romans disturb the gods. They burn the forests. They take what is ours, wives, children, land. The Romans talk of how they will help us and protect us. They put us to sleep with golden promises. When we wake, all we had is gone, stolen. They take our sons and turn them into little Romans. Ha! So we fight to keep what is ours. What must stay ours? There can be no peace. No peace with Romans, men of stone and iron and lies. There can be only war. So let's begin. The most serious situation is obviously down south, where we have to face pretty much the whole of the might of Rome. The problem I'm going to run into is that my current cities can't support constant unit production and with such weak units I do need a population I do need a large army which means I need the population to keep those units coming out so population buildings are for once going to be a priority we will want to actually build a stable in Batavium and also in Mediolanum because barbarian cavalry are one of the units we can actually sustain production of I'm going to take most of my army out. I'm going to use Lugatorix. I can't use my general's bodyguards in combat. That is against the rules. However, I can still use them for their command bonus. So we're going to be using Epiretorix as our main general. And I'm going to be marching on the Julii to begin with. This, I know it's going to chip into my population. But I will recruit warbands. I'm going to need all the resources I can get in Italy. And in order to help with that, well, in the south, in Spain, the Spanish are quite vulnerable. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull out of Numantia and leave my, I'll leave a single unit of warband here. And I'm actually going to meet up with the army around Narbon Martius. And we're going to take the eastern coast of Spain. And then we are going to take the western coast. So I happen to know that the first Spanish settlement is around here. We'll move towards that. I'm also not allowed to hire mercenaries. It's only the first tier units I'm allowed to use. So we can't. We have to get rid of these druids as well. Let's have a look at our income. Okay. So right now the focus, as I mentioned, is on growth in Gaul, although it's not quite as important to, to do in Elysia where we already have a decent population but I will be trying to keep my taxation reasonably low to encourage growth wow oh, okay already out of money we will probably be on the defensive for the first part of the campaign we will need to use clever battle strategies to make up for our relative lack of manpower I really don't like giving up recruitment in Italy, but we have to build up. Okay. In Alesia, we will take everyone but a unit of warband and we'll start marching on the British. Okay. Let's, let's use our reconnaissance units to actually find out what's down here. Okay, the Romans have, as usual, 
exposed a Julii army here. And we might be able to win an early victory over the Julii. Take a Resium, even if we can't take it, I may just sack it. So take everything that's there, withdraw it, leave it as a buffer region. Okay, two units of a stati, sorry, three units of a stati here, and then we've got Lucius Julius and his bodyguards, so two bodyguard units. Let's get into it. If I sound nervous, it's because I am. I don't have a huge amount of experience uh, with the Gauls, and their morale of the warbands is incredibly shaky. On top of that, we're also facing those powerful uh, Roman bodyguards. I do have some decent barbarian cavalry at my back. And I also have a screen of skirmishers who may come in handy. I think I'll deploy them towards this area. <coughs> Maybe draw them away from my warbands a little bit. But what I might do is actually put them in the center. That way if the Astati pursue or go after the skirmisher warbands, they'll pass in between my warbands here. I can't use my general, so he's going over here. He can watch the battle from the corner. Of course, that also means I don't get my general's morale bonus, adding an extra level of difficulty to, the, to map to proceedings. The enemy are scared. They have brought even okay, the enemy appear behind us. We will count the dead later. Okay, the enemy army is starting to shift. Unfortunately, that makes my life a little bit harder. What are you doing? Hurry up! Even if we can just make it to this part of the battlefield, that'll be enough to get around them. Timing of this wasn't brilliant, but it was still enough, I think. Yep. That first, those first couple of Astati go down easily. They have they're no match for the Barbarian Cavalry. I think we're going to get hit in the face by Pele here, because my timing was off. Oh. Yeah, that last unit of Cavalry was uh, late to the party. Pull off. We don't want to waste, we don't want to lose anyone, we don't have to. Also, we need to get set up for the next Roman army that's coming to kill us. So they are a lot more effective. Okay, form up into the three lines immediately. I need to rest up my cavalry, I don't have time to run after them all day. Alright, good start. Looks like the stati are coming out to challenge us. Hmm. Going to send a unit of cavalry now, try and split their general's bodyguards off from the rest of the army. This is the extremely dangerous part of the battle.
dispatch another unit of cavalry towards the flanks. The Veltes are getting involved. Hit the Veltes. Hit the Veltes from two sides. Really disorient the, the Romans. Get the flanking forces involved. Right, pull back. Don't get hit by the enemy general guard. There's a lot of micromanagement here and it's not easy to do. How did they catch us? It's very annoying. But, they just have to deal. Right, carve around, carve around. We've isolated one of the generals. Get those guys back, they're out on a limb. And now back in on them. Heads in the back, it's hopefully a matter of time for that Roman general. Good. Oh great, they've decided to withdraw. Okay. We're still going to take down as many of those Astati as we can. Get moving. Forget the group. Hit them in the back. Hope this works and breaks them instantly. Good. Pull them straight over. Kill as many as you can. And move on. Don't care about the stragglers. Can we at least catch one or two of them? I suddenly regret catching them. And they'll just spill out. The enemy has been utterly broken. This is a most worthy victory. I guess you could call the crushing victory. Well, we didn't really finish crushing them, that's the problem. Well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, it's best than I did the first time. <laughs> now, the problem is I know that there's a Senate army lurking around at the bottom here that will come and kill me. <clears throat> I might have to withdraw off the battlefield. My aim isn't really to defeat the Romans with this first army, it's to keep them engaged until stronger forces can be brought to bear. General. Let's move up Vindex. I'm aware that I might lose Numantia, but happens, it happens. I want to consolidate my territory. Right, that's fine. I'm really not sure that only two units of... I did not mean to do that. Hmm. Yep, yeah, nope. Cars is all I've done is walked straight to the danger zone. I didn't realize that Quick March was still on. Next turn. I expected this. There's no way we're going to be able to bring down this army with this force. Okay. Put it this way, it could have been worse. We could have actually taken Eresium and then got trapped inside its walls. Snatched victory from your warriors. I'd say I've snatched survival from annihilation. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. No, I'm not scared of you, Julii. I find it slightly amusing that you think I am. It's interesting, the SPQR are the strongest faction on the, on the game. Hmm. Well, I can't do much with that uh, Senate army sneaking around down there. Let's see. 
Where can they move to? They can cover Ariminum. Hope will return to the fort. Hopefully they move down south. I'll leave my spy here to keep an eye on things. <coughs> if a Julii army moves into Suggesta, I may be able to do something with that. So we've got a construction report. I don't know how much I'll be able to afford to build. Numantia, well, they've already got decent population, so they're not really the priority. I'm trying to get Lemonum and... Uh, con well... Conduct random. Basically, the northern Gallic provinces to actually start growing at a decent rate. You need about 6,000 population to um, sustain warband production with 4% population growth. Just going to see what it is for the um, Skarmisher warbands. So, with 4,000, you can sustain Skarmisher warband growth. And you need a pop you only need a population of two thousand to sustain cavalry production, so that shows the kind of manpower constraints we're dealing with here. Hmm, I can't see us winning this. We'll pull back for now. And I think I'm going to have to start recruiting units soon. Also, rather than building land clearance just now. I'm going to build a wooden palisade around Condate Red Onum. Good. Well, we'll take Oscar without a fight then. Got a general's bodyguard to fight. Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve this. I don't think anyone really wants to watch me uh, massacre a helpless bodyguard. Not because you care about bodyguards, because it's just not a very interesting fight. Very one-sided. Uh, this unit, this, uh, hmm. In some situations, the Skarmish Warband is actually probably more useful than more Warbands. I have a very low opinion of Warbands there, is... Recent history surrounding this. Next turn. Hmm. I think the Germans might be on their way to kill us. Belizea is usually one of the first targets for the British Army. The enemy has... Don't care. Farewell. It's frustrating because I know I could win that battle almost with the bodyguard on its own, but uh, I can't use my bodyguard. And that alone makes this campaign about 100 times harder. Right, we'll recruit a unit because we're going to need it next turn. Hmm, interesting. Well, okay, there's a Spanish army. I need to decide now, am I going to go and try and rescue? And actually, the thing is, we can't even make it in time. I might have to let Numantia fall and just continue my campaign down south. <clears throat> well, that didn't happen last time. The Spanish were much slower to respond to my presence. This time they've caught me unawares. I'm actually going to build roads in Oscar. Because it might give me some idea where the next settlement is. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Construction report. We've got stables in Patavium and Mediolanum. I'm going to immediately start producing cavalry. Which at 2000 population I can do without any concerns about population. We're at the point where we can now start to sustain unit production. <coughs> Gundate Red and has completed the spoils, it should start on land clearance. And that SPQR army is unfortunately going nowhere. We might be able to do something about it once we've built up enough forces in Italy.
as expected the British show up, but I'm ready for them now. Oh, they moved past. Well, that gives us some time. Let's uh, let's deal with the exciting siege of Elysia first. Okay, so hmm, this is going to be tricky. I'll have to just concede the battle of my uh, warbands to lose the fight. We're facing three units of warbands. I've got my own warbands to counter them. My cavalry should be able to handle the chariots if they're used properly, and the peasants aren't too much trouble. Slingers can be a bit dangerous if I'm not careful. I have the resources to win this fight, I just need to be careful how I use them. <coughs> to be honest, starting at this gate sounds like a good idea. I don't want to risk getting pummeled the moment I come outside the walls. Yeah, there's quite a trap jam at the walls. So we did eventually clear the log jam at the gate, but look how long this has taken. All in full view of the enemy army. Thankfully they didn't advance. And the last stragglers finally get into place. Let's go. Peasants on the left there. And the slingers are behind for some reason. And chariots at the back. One thing I need to do, one thing I learned from my anti-chariots video, is that I'll want my cavalry to be concentrated and in deep formation. So that a deep formation of cavalry can stop a light chariot charge. Um, however, a narrow formation just gets broken through and the chariots cut it up. So this is one case in Rome to the War where the formation your troops are in actually matters. Mm -hmm. Speaking of long formations, I don't know if I like that long line that the, the uh, British infantry are in. Potentially overlaps my own. Actually, you know what we can do? I'll take my cavalry and I'll move them over to the other flank. We'll smash through the peasants and then hit into the chariots from there. Oh, uh, but the enemy chariots might be about to respond. No, nope, they're fine. They're going to let me re redeploy. Let's start this off in proper Gallic fashion, with a good old-fashioned cavalry and infantry charge. And... Wow, the British infantry buckled almost immediately. Right after the light chariots. Right there. Oh, they're breaking. Yep, if they're going to ban if the chariots are going to abandon their infantry, I'm just going to take the infantry. And that's what happens if you disengage your cavalry completely. There we go. Attack my capital, will they? Right, our cavalry still have a job to do. They need to reform. Though I think the British are on the run now. Yeah, they'll be scrambling for the hills. Well, the slingers can go. So I don't see any reason to lose good men to arrow fire today. I'll cut down everything else. In my first campaign, the British kicked me all over the field. I didn't really, well, put it this way, warband infantry are very, very fragile. And we don't tolerate weakness in this part of the woods. Crash. You know what, I'm going to see if I can catch the skirmishers and bring up my other cavalry unit. 
to smash the warband. That means get on with it, you clowns. Manual control. Right out of my grasp. Well, let's finish off the warbands. Unfortunately, the most valuable units managed to make it off the field. But if they don't have that screen of warbands, it'll be much easier next time. Last couple of peasants getting crushed against the tree. Come on, chase down the stragglers. Even one man can be annoying in the wrong place. There we go. I think that leaves the British in trouble in uh, Europe. Of course, the Germans can always show up and ruin my day. Brennus is going to be our leader. We'll leave his uh, son in charge here. This means I have three warbands available instead of two. Not sure why we stopped. On we go. Uh, still need more cavalry. What did we get built? Lemonon. We've. Uh, hmm. We could get a uh, muster field built. I think I'd rather continue recruiting cavalry and Mediolanum. Anything else? Northern Marshes completed the trader. Want, uh, let's save up for the mines. It's always a good idea to get mining underway. Uh, so many good generals, and I can't use them for anything. Well, what I can do is send someone to manage Mediolanum. And that means I have an extra unit on hand now. Hmm. We do actually have a decent number of cavalry available to us. Let's move south to see if we can draw those ruins out to challenge us. I can beat the Senate army on its own, but I can't beat both the Julii and the Senate. Spain can pull back. Uh, okay, this will be a stomp. Okay, apparently the game decided that my formation wasn't good enough and decided to make its own. Less of that. So now that order has been somewhat restored, let's actually fight the battle. Cavalry around the back, pretty standard stuff. Nah, go and threaten the skirmishers. You don't have to actually hit them, just threaten them. I said you don't have to actually hit them. Wow, they responded to that quickly. Right, enough screwing around with the town militia. I forgot to take my skirmishers off skirmish mode. Well, luckily they didn't. It didn't last long enough to matter. I'm hoping that that flank attack will do the job. They ran into a lot of things. Uh, okay, both of our there we go. Both of our units were kind of taking unnecessary casualties. 
Skirmishers didn't really achieve anything there except getting in the way. I'll probably deploy them to the flanks in future battles. Good to get rid of these Sutarii, because these are actually decent soldiers. <coughs> Skirmishers gotten good hits against these town militia before the cavalry caught them. After the last batch. Ugh, the enemy general is causing a traffic jam. Not that it really matters, we've annihilated this army. It's pretty much vanity at this point to wipe out every last enemy soldier. There we go. Goodbye, Jacome. And my general can watch as the last few skirmishers get cut to pieces. My barbarian cavalry get confused easily. They're like magpies. Okay, my barbarians finally got a clue. This is a Down we go. Victory. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Well, I don't know where the enemy settlement is. I'll need to send out scouts. Okay, well we know they're not here. Out of moves. Yes. But I obviously have other reasons for wanting to move up in this direction. Because we're close enough now that we could intercept Captain Ziggor's army. Right. Uh, the Gauls are in retreat. We're smashing into Spain. And... Well, all quiet in the Italian front. Next turn. It's good to know what we're facing, at least. Well, time to run away again. Victory and defeat are the edges of a single sword. This time, the sword cut in favor of the enemy. The sword cut in favor of thin air. Oh, great instincts, geniuses. I forgot to actually recruit troops last turn. That is extremely annoying. Conduct Redenham. Build some roads, seeing as we can actually afford us at the moment. And... Lysia. You know, the same. Seeing as I have absolutely no use for anything else, any of the military buildings. Did I train some cavalry? Okay, let's make use of them. So the British army is obviously extremely weak at this point. Good, it's just the chariots then. We'll chop our way through them on our way to kicking the British off the continent.
<coughs> yes, yes, today is a good day to die, but I think it's not us that are going to be doing the dying. <coughs> Uh, the Warband are going to have very limited utility in this battle, but they will at least be able to shove off the enemy slingers, letting my cavalry focus on the real fight, which is going to be against the British Light Chariots. We are just going to run at them. Well, wait until we're in missile range first, then we'll run at them. Okay, actually, send the uh, Warbands running. Because we need to go after those slingers. I don't want anything obstructing my run at those chariots. Let's use the cover pro provided by the infantry. Go, go, go! Okay, some pretty nasty casualties amongst the warbands, actually. Charge! Oh, avoid the... That's exactly what we didn't want to happen. Slingers are getting caught in their foot. I don't care about them. I care about killing those charioteers. Fine, just bull straight through them. And now the real battle begins. So it very much depends on how impact goes and how many casualties those uh, chariots can cause. They've turned around. It's getting very messy, but so far impact has gone our way. There we go. That's what I like to see. Those chariots got torn to shreds. We're not going to pursue them there probably end up killing as many of us as we do of them. Finish off the infantry and that should be the end of the army. Stop the warbands, they'll just get in the way. Let's stop all but the lead uh, cavalry unit. Those slingers have good legs, I'll give them that. <coughs> it doesn't really matter if two chariots get away. I will be annoyed if they get retrained. There we go. No more. The enemy are in full flight, and the victory is yours. <laughs> Bit bloodier than I would have liked, but I'm not sure I could have done anything about that. <coughs> the warbands did their job, serving as cannon fodder for worthier units. Fear us. Yes, fear us. Oh, you mean fear us? That's not as attractive, is it? All right. I think it's safe to say we're making progress. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Recruit another unit of barbarian uh, cavalry. At some point, I will want to recruit something other than barbarian cavalry. Since these two first class, these first class geniuses ran off to here. At least they managed to come in as reinforcements. Which is good, because I might need them against the round shields. Mm. <coughs> this shouldn't be a problem, but we do want to avoid a hail of javelin fire. <coughs> if I can separate the skirmishers from the cavalry, we'll be fine. Uh, sorry, set up in quite deep formations here, because those cavalry are going to potentially charge us, and if we're in a very thin line, it's going to hurt. Cavalry go towards the rear, and we are waiting for our reinforcements. Eager for the taste of enemy blood. Hmm. Okay, unfortunately the enemy aren't going to wait. They're coming straight at us.
Damn, too early. Oh, you don't get to leave. Oh, wow. They went down like, uh... Oh, something that goes down very quickly. A warm pint of ale? The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any <laughs> you have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! And they are right to show fear. Uh, skirmishers are getting massacred off screen, aren't they? Oh, they won! <laughs> Even on very hard difficulty, they won. Got me pleasantly surprised. I guess the enemy's morale is shot at this point. Uh, there are more useful things they could be pursuing, to be honest. I don't think I could use my general in a situation like this. Um, we need to keep them chasing. Keep them running, otherwise they'll come back. I don't particularly want another confrontation with these guys. Uh, the skirmishers are starting to come back. These guys have finished up. Let's get going. It's a case of prioritization now. This could get ugly. The skirmishers have got to realise they've got nowhere else to go. Nope, oh, went quite smoothly indeed. So lost a few more cavalrymen. Remember, right now this is my only army in the south. There are no unit recruitment centres in um, southern Gaul, aside from Numantia, which is in Spain. So I kind of need to take the south up the east coast of Spain in a single swoop. <coughs> but this rate of attrition is manageable. There we go. Is a great victory. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. No problem. Now let's go and find their hovels. Yes, warrior. Well, anything that helps troop morale is obviously welcome. Uh. I really don't want to have to slow down for these morons. I don't think there are any more uh, intact Spanish forces anyway. There we are. You were well hidden, weren't you? I suppose it is one of the points of a stronghold. You don't put it somewhere that's easy to access. Next turn. Hmm. Look on the guts! Look on the at the guts on these guys. All right. 
Uh, we'll be facing British heavy chariots. Maybe there's reasons for their confidence. Let's get into it then. So the enemy have woad warriors, and while they have a nasty attack, I happen to note their defense is fragile as glass. Once again, warbands in fairly deep formation as we're going to be facing chariots. And I'll have the cavalry unified and in a very similar formation. General's bodyguard goes back, ideally where he's hopefully safe. They have brought even more men. No matter. Right, we need to get a move on. Break that first force before it's before the main uh, course arrives. Uh, that was a messy charge. Okay, not a good moment at all there. How are we doing this badly against the force we just encircled? Goes to show an encircle, a charge can feel absolutely perfect. I think we were broken up by the trees. Feels like it should not have been that hard. Oh, okay. I think the enemy army took one look at what was happening there and booked it off the field. The enemy reinforcements haven't arrived. Very messy victory for us. They are far bloodier than they needed to be. Yeah, that was a surprise. Those warbands usually go to pieces. Of course, the bad charge didn't help us. So I'm surprised at the level of resistance. Twenty percent of our army. There we go. The enemy are in full flight, and our victory is yours. Yes, it is. Well, we'll recover some casualties thanks to healing, and it's thankfully due to the low tier units. There's nothing I can't retrain. One of the advantages of this approach. Right, we need to exploit this situation. Wait. Think. If I go after them like this, I'm going to get trapped in Suggesta and destroyed. I'm going to work my way around the mountains instead. Because I do not want to get trapped between Suggesta and Arashium by the uh, Senate's army. So really, they are now weak enough that I could probably think about fighting them. I might be uh, letting the Senate army unnerve me a little bit. We do have some ability to fight them now. We're the strongest faction, amazingly. Probably not. Probably only in terms of unit numbers rather than the unit strength. Under 
Oh, you cheeky... The Carthaginians? The Carthaginians marched all the way up from the south of Spain just to attack my new mansions. I don't think I can get there in time. I'm glad, to, I'm honoured to know I was so important. Uh, right, we, we're prepared for that eventuality. Let's just continue. Something up. We have some Arab Reeve firmly under siege now. Let's uh, recruit some cavalry. Oh, we recruited some cavalry rather. Let's send them north. My income is rather poor because I haven't really taken any new settlements except for um, Oscar. <coughs> Got some roads springing up now. I was supposed to build mines in Narva Marshes. I'm going to hold off on recruitment and do that. Uh, that was a pretty disappointing turn, wasn't it? We've got a good old-fashioned siege assault coming up. Those are always int mm. difficult with this army. Next turn. Birds are sallying out. Mm. Heavy chariots are a different beast to light chariots. to waste time there sending my war chief away. Hmm. I want to knock out the infantry and then turn and hit the chariots while they're still disorganized near the wall. Okay. Gauls really... Well, the Britons certainly telegraphed that attack. Just pull them back. Pull out of the way of the charge. Hit them in the side. And then descend on them. Or they could just charge straight past everything. complaining about being outplayed. Well played, Lord Ra Raiders. You got the most out of yourselves that you could, being sent out into the open to die on your own like that. That warband unit is just standing there because it's glitched out by the gate. No matter to us, we're going to head out and prepare to confront the heavy chariots, of which we have two units to deal with. Right, let's go and get their attention. Uh, I think their attention's got. Counter charge. Ugh. 
don't want the cavalry formation opening up like that. Brought down one enemy general. So what happens when the cavalry lose formation of their formations too thin? Start taking very heavy casualties. There goes the jet. Enemy king. Good. And we can afford to lose the cavalry if we manage to take uh, Samara Breva. Let's get formed up and keep going. I'm very glad I took the time to learn how to counter chariots effectively. Don't just leave. You still need your help. Having come this far, I'm not getting beaten up by a single warband due to bad unit management. Charge. There we go. Oh. That's going to be the last battle today. Oh, they're glitching out. Okay. Um, what's keeping the uh, unit of them going all the way around the back? Go and kill them. Battle between the already dead units. Thankfully, chariot units really lose their uh, resilience once they're down to the last. That's also why you don't chase chariots, and also that was made due to the game glitching out. We have victory! Heroic cavalry slaughtering victory! That's the British out of Europe, and that should be the last we see of them for up. Oh my god, where did they get that second army from? Where did they get all these soldiers from? How much just landed? That must be every Brit British person from Britain. Okay. How am I going to survive this one? Well, we're leaving Samara Breva. I'm not going to be able to survive that. Uh, I don't want to tear the place down as there's a uh, population. Well, I will eventually want to take Samara Breva. So I don't really want to just raise it to the ground. And they're threatening Condé Redenham. I can't believe the British were able to cobble together so many forces. Okay, don't leave anyone in Samara Reva, we need every troop. Fall back towards the capital. To call this a disappointment is an understatement. And they'll probably attack us next turn. I'll need to flee back towards the capital. Well, I didn't start this. This is why I started this campaign, because I knew it would be a challenge. I've been Napoleon Complex. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you next time. Farewell.